hi and welcome to part 33 of ESP.NET MC Core Tutorials and on this part we are going to add our order controller and order view. To add the controller let's go to the controllers folder and inside this folder we add a new item controller. We name the controller order controller and this controller is going to use the iOrder repository we created on the last part so for that we inject the iOrder repository and the shopping cart. Next let's rename the index to the checkout and this is simply going to return the checkout view after you have created the controller made the necessary injections and created the checkout action we need to go to the views folder and create our checkout view but first of all let's create a new folder inside the views which needs to have the same name as our controller and inside the orders folder we need to create a view with the same name as our action which is checkout.csharphtml so let's declare the model that we are going to use for this view, which is the order model. Inside this file, we first create a div, which is going to have the class name row. And then we start implementing our form. Inside this div, we create our form and we start implementing all the properties for this form. So I'm going to start with the first name and it's going to be an input. In a form, we can map all the properties to our model by using the keyword ASP and here the name of the property which is in this case last name I'm going to copy paste all the form from my github repository and provide a link down below on the description section for you to get it as well let us now run the application to see that everything works fine so we see that the application runs fine but we don't have the button to add a drink to a card to display a drink we use a drink summary partial view so let us go and add the button to that partial view to see it on the screen so for that we go to the shared folder inside the shared folder we have the drink summary c sharp html file so we remove this div because we don't need that and we add another div just inside the div that has a class thumbnail so the controller for this button is going to be the shopping cart the method or the action is going to be add to shopping cart and the drink ID is going to be the drink ID. Let's refresh our application. So here we see the add to cart button. But before we add that item to the cart, let's go and remove this basket over here. And we have added the dummy data on our shopping cart summary, the C sharp class. So we remove this list and we replace it with our repository. And we see that the basket is not there anymore. I'm going to add our first drink and when you add your first drink you are going to be redirected to the shopping cart and up here you will see that you have added only one element to your shopping cart. Next we press the checkout button and after you press the checkout button you are going to be redirected to the checkout view that we just created. So this is all for this part and on the next part we are going to add validation to our form. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.